Madam Dragon ran a school many moons ago. She taught young dragons all the things that dragons need to know. Zog, the biggest dragon, was the keenest one by far. He tried his hardest every day to win a golden star. All the dragons in year one were learning how to fly. Hi, said Madam Dragon. We're up in the sky. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own, and you'll all be expert flyers by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice, flying fast and free. He soared and swooped and looped the loop, then crashed into a tree. Just then, a little girl came by. Oh, please don't cry, she said. Perhaps you'd like a nice sticky bandit for your hat. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew, his band-aid gleaming pinkly at his zigzag through the blue. A year went by, and in year two, the dragons learned to roar. More, said the Madam Dragon. Louder, I implore. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own, and you'll all be champion rowers by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice. He roared with fearsome force. He kept it up for hours on end, but then his throat grew hoarse. Just then, the girl came by again. She said, What's rotten luck? Perhaps you'd like a nice soothing peppermint to suck. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew, and breathing fumes of peppermint, he zigzagged through the blue. A year went by, and in year three, the dragons learned to blow. No, said Madam Dragon, but out fire and snow. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own, and you'll all be breathing bonfires by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice. He blew with all his might. He twirled around in triumph, and his wingtip caught a light. Just then, the girl came by again. She said, you poor old thing, perhaps you'd like a nice trenchy bandage for your wing. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew, his bandage flapping wildly as he zigzagged through the blue. All the year for dragons were learning, can you guess? Yes, said Madame Dragon. How to capture a princess. Now that you have been shown, you can practice on your own. You'll need to capture hundreds by the times you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice. He tried and tried and tried, but he simply couldn't manage. I'm no good at this, he cried. I'll never win a golden star. Just then, he saw the girl. Perhaps, she said, you'd like to capture me, I'm Princess Pearl. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off they flew, the princess gripping tightly as they zigzagged through the blue. Oh, said Madam Dragon. Our first princess so far. Congratulations, Zog, my dear. You won a golden star. Zog was proud and happy, and Pearl felt good as well. She took the dragon's temperatures and nursed them when they fell. A year went by, and in year five, the dragons learned to fight. Right, said Madam Dragon. Here comes a real-life knight. Up spoke the knight. My name, he said, is Gadabout the Great. I have come to rescue Princess Pearl. I hope I'm not too late. Zog breathed fire and beat his wings. You can't, she's mine, he roared. Oh no, she's not. Yet got about and waved his trusty sword. The other dragons crowded round and watched them all agog. Who was going to win the fight? Sir got about or Zog? Then Princess Pearl stepped forward, crying, Stop, you silly chums. The world's already far too full of cuts and burns and bumps. Don't rescue me. I won't go back to being a princess and prancing round the palace in silly filly dress. I want to be a doctor and travel here and there listening to people's chests and giving them my care. Me too, exclaimed the knight, and took his helmet off his head. I'd rather wear a nice twisty stethoscope, he said. Then Zog said, Flying doctors, I'd love to join the crew. If you'll let me be your ambulance, then I can carry you. Bravo, said Madam Dragon. An excellent career. And all the ear five dragons gave a loud resounding cheer. Then Madam Dragon told the horse, I really hope you'll stay. i let you be my pupil's bed and feed you lots of hay. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew, the flying doctors waving as they zigzag through the blue.